I picked this truck up on Black Friday. Uh, the history of it, if you're unfamiliar, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. If you don't want to, that's fine. But 2021 Lunar Rock TRD Pro, love this fucking thing. Obviously we use it for what it's intended for. And <laughs> I can't wait to get these on. Aha! Today is the day where we've got a little bit of a delivery. So I'll get these loaded up and fit in here. Obviously, pretty good. Boom. And there you have it. They're loaded in the grid and lock organizer and ready to go. I'm just gonna throw these in here. A, so they don't flop around. B, it's not really gonna help that much, but is what it is. Here we are. I'm gonna drive my truck back over to where I sometimes park it and that's that. Tomorrow, I'm getting them installed. I'm going to a Toyota dealership near me, actually, just because it's just easier. I'm going to fasten that down a little bit more when I, when I get driving, but I just wanted to install this. All right, I just wanted to film this. I just picked them up. I just saw my first impressions of them. I've seen them before. This is nothing new. Flying around back there. But... Yeah, we're not even going fast. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to tie them down. But yeah, I wanted to just film us picking them up, me seeing them for the first time, just in case, just in case there's a problem. I'm gonna check the date on them because I just ordered them off of Amazon and that is kind of sketchy to me, but we will see, not 100% sure. So as I was saying, I'm gonna show you, if you don't know this, this is pretty common knowledge. Some people I'm sure don't know this. If you see, just look around, there's a, a dot code. It'll say DOT, I'm gonna turn you upside down right here. It'll say DOT, have some info here. What I'm looking at right now for this particularly, you can see right there, I'm gonna zoom in. 3820, so it's it goes up to 52 here, 52 weeks out of the year. This is the 38th week of 52 weeks and the last two digits are 20 so obviously not 1920 it is 2020 this was made in the past the last half of the year about the last quarter so probably fall sometime someone if you want to fact check me feel free i will do this later but <laughs> the 38th week of the year i feel like it's somewhere in between september october yeah because the 42nd yeah somewhere around there so fall 2020 right now it is march 2nd so we're getting these bad boys installed wanted to just get a little walk around of them in the back of the truck uh, i'll take y'all to the dealer with me check in to see exactly how this is all going got 3,000 miles on the truck right now it's obviously it's dirty but it's i've had this off-road i'd say 50 50 three days out of the week i'm off-roading four days out of the week i'm driving on the road so about 200 probably 250 miles a week i've had this since black friday of 2020 so this truck i received about two months maybe after those tires were made again it's not going to be blue that's a soap that comes off Tastes really good cotton candy. I'm kidding, I didn't do that. But yeah, that uh, that just washes off. You'll be able to get that off. It's just so the white lettering doesn't get finagled up. I haven't had issues with this. When you go through deep mud and whatnot, you get kind of railed and you're screwed. But I'm gonna keep these just as backup tires. See how it goes. Uh, I've, I've heard things about the load E range, the 10 ply KO2s, which is what these are. All your info is gonna be on here. You got your little snowflake. 
logo. You got all oh, these knobbies. Oh, I just look so good. It's like a dirt bike tire. I fucking love it. I mean, these didn't look terrible. People are always going to talk shit no matter what. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. The truck's not lifted. This is a stock 2021 TRD Pro. It's Lunar Rock. Looking at 265s on here. 265, 70, 16. Once you get up to the 17 inch wheel, you have a lot more to play with, a lot more options. But this, uh, what in the hell is that? Look at that. <laughs> this is the casting on there. It's just horrendous. These obviously are going to be more of a streetable tire. I'm probably going to lose some gas mileage, probably going to lose some, you know, whatever, but I don't really give a fuck about that. I don't buy this truck for fuel efficiency or economy. Bought it because I want to have fun with it. Again, like I always say in my other videos, it was between another Polaris Razor or this. Uh, for obvious reasons, we chose this. I just think this is a lot better. So, yeah. Off to the dealer next morning. Uh, leave you off till then. I haven't had an issue with these, like I was saying. No issue. But how can you not? How can you not switch? You know what I mean? 3820, 4620, 4020. And this one was 3720. Just so you don't think I'm a fucking liar and an Amazon shill. Here is a clip from like 10 seconds ago that I posted on Snapchat. Okay, lads. Amazon tire order 101. Is it safe? Are they old? 38? 38? 3820? 40. 46? 20? 46, 20? Come on, focus. 4620. 3720. And where are these? You little bugger. 4020. Okay, they're not old. Amazon tire purchase is a win. Follow me on Snapchat. If, if you want, you don't have to. I really don't care. But if you care, you can. Otherwise, let's commence the tire infestation invasion interrogation epidemic yeah uh oh god i'm so happy i have these they look so good i also love i love 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 fucking love that new tire smell like new shoe tire not new shoe tire new shoe smell new tire smell new car smell new haircut doesn't really have a smell but a feel the smell feels like the feel, and the feel smells like the smell. It feels like the smell. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't even know what I mean. Just to give you a bit of a close-up on the tread, not many people really, I guess they do, but... Rock extractors, stone extractors. Saw a little tire. Not really a little tire. It looks smaller than this when you have them next to them, but... Once they inflate and they're up there, they'll be good to go. First of all, we got some new carbon propellers for the drone. Supposedly, allegedly, I should take this off before I start it. But uh, this is going to be low profile, better sounding, la 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 la, all that. We're going to put her over here. We'll take off shortly. I want to get some pics of this, some video of this before we uh, do the swap. I'm about to head out to my appointment to get the tires changed. Truck's got 3,000 miles on it. I know you're supposed to religiously do alignments right after. I'm thinking about skipping the alignment or maybe just going to my own guy just because he can do them way cheaper. I'd rather Toyota do the swap because if they fuck up the TPMS, they'll replace it. No questions asked. I'm certain of that. Uh, before we get into that though, obviously the wear, 3,000 miles, like I've driven this on street and I've driven off road. None of the knobs have ripped off. You're not gonna get that with a street tire. Obviously, it's not the cleanest right now. But, as you see, I may have said this recently, uh, earlier, but you have the dot code. Where's the dot code? Where's the dot code? 3920 on this one. Thirty-nine twenty on both passenger side tires, and remember that was I think forty forty-six 
38, 37, something around there, roughly. A little bit more mud on this one. 39, 20. And I picked this up. 39, 20. Okay, so these are all equivocally 39, 20. I picked this truck up on Black Friday. Uh, the history of it, if you're unfamiliar, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. If you don't want to, that's fine. But 2021 Lunar Rock Tierty Pro. Love this fucking thing. Obviously, we use it for what it's intended for. And <laughs> I can't wait to get these on. I know some of you have been really preaching I need to get some new tires. And I, I know I need to. I know I need to. Hopefully, those won't be an issue, the mud flaps. But bought the truck on Black Friday. And the history of it, as I was going to get into, was somebody bought this and they couldn't get approved for the financing. So they spec'd it out exactly how I want. A fully loaded, you know, TRD Pros come standard, a fully loaded Tacoma with all the packages and everything. I didn't want any of the extra stuff, the accessories, because I'm gonna do it all myself, obviously. Therefore, it was a perfect storm. Luckily, after negotiating with a bunch of dealers, I got this one at a badass price, no markup. Obviously, that's the pigeon thing to say, but it is what it is. Right now, some of these are going 10K over. Again, it is what it fucking is. The beautiful thing is I didn't have to pay any extra MSRP for the added on factory options that I would get rid of. Example, mud flaps and get aftermarket ones. I'd have to sell the stock ones. Now they're used because I bought it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It's just a less of a hassle. If I can get it without it, I would. So this is probably produced sometime in September, October uh, and then shipped out. I don't know how the process is. Probably three to six weeks to get it you know, once it's built, sent out or something like that, probably a lot quicker than six. So probably October is when this is built. So 39th week again, I have fact checked myself. I will once we're editing, let's get some drone shots of this bad boy before we leave. You've probably already seen them and yeah, it's head to the dealer. I'm going to take y'all with me. Just filming on my iPhone right now. I am in the middle of relocating some things to some other properties and uh, all my stuff's kind of scattered. So poor planning on my part proper execution on the fact that we have an iphone 12 pro to film on you want to make some videos you can do it with an iphone so don't be afraid obviously the uh audio and video is better on my other camera the dslr let's get into these drone shots shall we as that drone is back in one piece carbon blades looking good looking hot and we're ready to get back to we'll go to toyota and uh Get these tires changed. I wish, I wish you could smell this. I really wish you could just smell that new tire smell. If not, go to your local Sam's Club. This video is not sponsored by Sam's Club. And uh, yeah, yep. Who else clips these knobbies off? I'm gonna keep them on there. I like the little nips. Oh, I love the little nips. I can't wait to see what this looks like when we get more drone shots of it. I'll give you before and after or whatnot and how it sits and stands. I mean, obviously in the front, I've got about one and a half fists before that was a good idea before i uh get up there and have any rubbing but i'll show you the clearance of it when i let's see if you can see that when i turn the wheel when i turn the wheel all the way we're pretty close pretty close don't have too much room and honestly we might actually might actually rub. It's pretty damn close, but we're not touching. We're not really getting too much larger, but we'll, we'll see. It's definitely larger overall. So head to Toyota and uh, we'll see how this works out. Tyler. 